The limited voters registration exercise expected to commence on Tuesday, September 12 in all 268 district offices of the Electoral Commission has been hit with three suits. The first is by five political parties, the NDC, the CPP, the APC, the LPG and the GCPP who insist the exercise will deprive many eligible voters from registering if it is held in only the district offices of the Electoral Commission. Deputy Chairman of the Electoral Commission, Dr. Bosman Asari, says the EC is rather eager to register all eligible citizens and has considered all concerns raised by the parties. And as a listening institution, the EC is all very, very much concerned about ensuring that all people who are qualified also register as uh, voters. So we are, we are beginning the exercise tomorrow if it demands that we make some tweakings, some changes here and there, the Electoral Commission is ready to do that. You shouldn't forget that this is the commission that in 2020, in less than 40 days, we registered about 17 million people. In West Africa, we have done over 17 million, representing almost 55%. So if there is an institution that is committed to ensuring that uh, the citizens register, those who are qualified, is the Electoral Commission. So as I speak to you now, when we hear that people are saying the EC is going to disenfranchise some people, I find it very, very strange. Because our district offices are well equipped for each district to have registration teams. And each district is capable of having an average of about 300 people per day. And we are looking at 21 days. Two private citizens have also sued the commission over similar concerns. The EC says the exercise is specifically for the district level elections after which other registration will be conducted. Although we concede that some places are far away from the district offices, what we are saying is that this is not the first time we are registering at the district offices. In 2019, we did registration at the district office. Even in 2020, in 2016, we did the same, even 19. 96. So what the EC is saying is that all those who are qualified, as long as you were a Ghanaian, you were at least 80 years old, you didn't take part in the 2020 registration exercise, for one reason or the other, you were outside the country, avail yourself at you, uh, in the district office of the Electoral Commission where you reside. Just be there. We are going to make sure you register as a voter. Just come with your Ghana card if you have one. If you don't have the Ghana card, just come with your Ghana passport. In the absence of either the Ghana card or the Ghana passport, just get two people who are already registered voters to come and guarantee your registration. An estimated 800,000 voters are expected to be captured on the electoral roll after the 21-day exercise.